it's my video blog. Um, we are going to go, we are starting off on uh, May 1st, 1718 in Texas history. Um, that's when San Antonio was founded. Um, it's the most significant Texas settlement of the time. Um, the Mission San Antonio that we heard about earlier in the last episode was moved to the present location in San Antonio and in 1724 it was renamed the Alamo and that's a big one that's important to Texas history um, and then 1719 we've got the chicken war yeah it is as funny as the name implies um, Franciscan missionaries begin to move into East Texas, which is where I live. Um, but they were not really around here. They were like around Nacogdoches, Lufkin, not really where Lake Livingston is now, which is a man-made lake. So it wasn't even, there wasn't even a lake here. There was just the, riv the Trinity River that went through. Um, now the French attacked a mission that was in Louisiana, but was a friend, but was a Franciscan mission, and the Franciscans were mostly Spanish. Um, it amounted to a little more than an attack on a hen house, which is how the Chicken War got its name. But still, that uh, that one attack, the Chicken War, caused the Spanish to withdraw from East Texas, and they stayed gone for a while, like. I, th I think it was like five or six years they stayed out of that part of East Texas, which is run right on the Louisiana border. Um, by, oh, God, my hand's cramping up. Sorry. Duh. There we go. Um, in 1730, missionaries were uh, operating ranches around San Antonio and Goliad. Um, and these are the Catholic missions themselves were um, doing this. So to, they kind of, um, they were the ones that were running all the cattle and everything. Uh, and then Martin de Leon and others started big individual ranches at this time. Um, now, uh, by 1816, de Leon had about 5,000 cattle, which was really large at the time. Now, on a side note, Vivian's biological father, um, now he was adopted, so this is just what uh, his, him and his family have been able to find out about his biological parents, but he is supposedly uh, related to the Daily, uh, the De Leon family, which is still really, really big in West Texas and very powerful. But, and like I said, it's just an interesting little side note, but I don't know if because he was adopted and because he won't talk to us, we really aren't sure if that is the truth or just something that his uh, adoptive parents told him to make him feel better. Um, in 1734, the Comanche, who were Plains natives, and they were like awesome, awesome horsemen, um, they claimed vast areas of North, Central, and West Texas, like just a big whoof like over half of what Texas is today. Um, and in 1734, that's whenever they uh, had the first mention in Spanish stuff because they came into San Antonio looking for the Lipan Apache who were their enemies. Um, now that's not the type of Apache that is in our blood. We're Muscalero Apache. Um, and the at oh god this is another one i'm not gonna be able to pronounce the atapaca were a gulf were a gulf uh, the gulf coast tribe they farmed and hunted um and uh that was in 1750 that um they were really they were first mentioned by the spaniards um, and also in 1750, the Spanish al allied themselves with the Apaches to make ranching easier. 
and uh, the individual ranchers started conflicting with the missionaries over the land and that uh, is really where the decline of the missionaries and the missions as being ranchers that's really where their decline started and it continued on later on because the individuals were suing so much and that's the end of this one so don't forget to be awesome I love you guys and we will pick up in 1758 in my next video. Love you. Bye.